welcome back to Open Everyone. Don't forget to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at uh, BronxNet TV. And while you're there, tweet me too at Prina Valentine. So every year, the Mr. Organization competition gives young men looking to be a part of the entertainment industry a platform to showcase their talents and participate in several events that include seminars, photo shoots, press presentations, and a final gala where one person will be crowned the 2019 Mr. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome representing USA, Emil Lopez. Representing Netherlands, uh, we have, uh, who do we have representing Netherlands? We don't, Mike it's Mike Peak, yes. And then from Belgium, we have Tihu Morsha. Oh. And yes? Mortilia. Mortilia. <laughs> I knew, <laughs> I knew, I was like, ah, I'm gonna get it right. And then from India, we have Mohit Shanma. Yes? Yeah. I got that one right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it though. <laughs> you know, it, this is the beauty of being in New York, right? Yeah. We have all these international, fabulous looking men, I might say. This <laughs> is a very, you. very, very challenging competition <laughs> for you. anyone who's even watching. So <laughs> welcome, welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome to our set. And oh, well, we're going to start with you, Mr. USA. Um, how has your experience been with the Mister, and how did you learn about it? Yeah, I actually got invited to their final gala two years ago, so 2017, where I met some of the participants at the time. Um, and since then, I've just been following the growth of the company, and I knew I wanted to be a participant, so I contacted some of the coordinators, and here we are. They invited me in, and I've been having a great time. I'm going to try and make sure I, I acknowledge you by names as well um, and get the names right. And so mm. welcome and good for you. And Chris, Chris, that's you? No. No, who's Chris? Chris, we don't have Chris. Chris. Chris is not here. Oh, sorry. Tihu. Yes. That's you. Sorry. Yes, Mr. Belgium. Um, yeah, my national director asked me, I did one previous pageant, and my national director asked me, like, do you want to go to New York? And I was, like, very excited. So, uh, yeah, I was, look I was looking forward a lot to this pageant and um, meeting guys from all over the world is, is just amazing and being so here in New York is... Uh, how has that pro process been for you coming from over there? Oh. Like in other words, I don't know what the process is from the international, uh, I guess, uh, qualifications. How does that work? Oh yeah, so um, I guess because of we did nice on our previous pageant, that's the reason uh, my national director believes in us and uh, that's the reason he sent us here. So otherwise we won't be here. So that's lovely. That's yeah. lovely. So Mr. India is Mohit. Yes. I got that right. Yes. Uh, are you hailing all the way from India? Yeah, I am. Lovely. Yeah. How, so how has that process been for you? Let's talk about your, I guess, qualification. It's kind of similar with the Mr. Belgium. So you know, it's been uh, many years. I've been to fashion and modeling. I've, I've been doing runways and shows from like, almost like five years now. And been into pageants last year also. I was in New, uh, I was in Miami last year for my pageant, so I did good good well. So my director also asked me if I would want a part of this. I said, why not? You know, coming to New York, seeing Times Square, Brooklyn Bridge is one of the uh, dream come true. So I said, yeah. This is your first time coming to New York. New York, yes, first. Yes, that's yeah. so interesting. He's like, oh, walking through the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> 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 It's totally amazing. No, it's, it's, it's just yeah. funny, us New Yorkers, the things we take for granted, because it's part of our everyday, yeah, so it's sure. lovely to, to see because your we excitement. See, we Indians, we love Hollywood movies, you know, we love Marvels, and you know, we've been, we've been seeing so many movies of Marvels, and you know, Brooklyn Bridge, Times Square, so it's always a dream to come and you know, take a photo there, so it was for me a dream come true, and then meeting so many lovely people around the world, being into, getting, into, getting to know each other along is a great feeling. That's wonderful. Mike. Yes. Yes, yes Mike <laughs> from <laughs> Netherlands. Yes. <laughs> and for you? For me, it's like um, a little like the same as Tico because we have the the same national director. It's he's from Belgium, but he's also doing the Netherlands. And uh, I did previous pageants before, so um, I did two. So I'm really into the pageants. And um, th after the last pageant, I was uh, working with a national director, and he asked me to be uh, a model and talent scout for the pageant. So I said, yeah, it will be lovely. The, I will see it from another side than uh, being on the field and going after, so behind the scenes. And um, yeah, the opportunity came that we, that we can go to the, uh, to the United States. And uh, yeah, uh, we, t we, we thought about it. And uh, yeah, we discussed with, with each other. We, because I and Belgium are really good friends. 
And uh, that's the reason that we said, yeah, we're definitely going to do it. And we took the plane and now we're here. I'm always excited when it's the, the <laughs> Mr. Uh, organization time competition, right? We, we've been supporting the Mr. Organization for, I think, since the beginning of the pageant. And um, the fact that it's a male pageant and the fact that uh, aside from being very vis visually stimulated, <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're all blushing. I love it. Uh, but uh, there's also this other factor in um, your occupations, assisting you with your career. So it's not just about a pageant. And most of the time, uh, people focus on female pageants. So but what's the experience been for you thus far? Uh, it's been great. Um, we met with a couple of partners. Uh, we have the La Casita del Libro. Uh, for English speakers, it's the book of the House of Books, rather. And um, we're partnered with them, so it's a great opportunity. We're going to donate books to them. And just the people that we're meeting and the connections, it's been, it's been great. And so, OK, so we already talked about the Brooklyn Bridge experience. You all marched across the Brooklyn Bridge. I wish I could have been there. And so <laughs> now we're talking about uh, serving the community with uh, books. Mm -hmm. And what else have you done? Ground Zero. Hmm? We visited Ground Zero. The Ground Vessel. Zero, you visited Ground Zero. Mm -hmm. The vessel too. The vessel. The vessel, yeah. The vessel. Everything yeah. is a city tour. It's been we went for two days city tour. We you know been around the New York taking pictures, putting posts it, up on uh, New York. We've essentially been doing tours of the city, um, getting these guys acclimated. I'm from New York. How many Actually, of you are there all together? Uh, twelve competing. There's twelve competing, yeah. and they're all they're all from different parts different of the countries. world. Yeah. And um, the objective in becoming the Mister is to do what. Uh, and be what? Represent what? Represent the organization, the Mr. Be the face of the organization, work with them. That I'm aware of, but uh, from your own personal your own perspective. perspective. Yeah, everyone has their own agenda, essentially, um, and their own platform. Uh, some of these guys are really into health and promoting that, um, working with kids. What are I, you into? Personally, I just graduated from John Jay over in the city. Uh, I graduated with a major in counseling and criminal justice. So what I want to do is get into police force, work with kids, um, get into schools as well, do counseling for them, and just kind of uplift the youth. Awesome. Tiho. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think like pageants is all about the looks or all about the best body, but um, it's, yeah, not, that's not true because it being a mistress, yeah, you, you have to stay humble all the time and stay kind to everybody, and you have to be like, yeah, an example for other people, and that's what a mister is, this has to be for me. Yeah. I, I like that. That's lovely, coming from a gentleman. Uh, Mohit? Yeah, so if I'll tell my personal experience, I would like to uh, take back something from my country because uh, India is a very huge country and we are, you know, we are really huge. So I would like to go and help people with uh, nutrition, health and fitness because I'm into that business already. So I would, if I win this competition, you know, I can, whatever, whatever I get, I'm going to work with my people over there so that I can help and, you know, do something really better for the country. Beautiful. Especially the people who seek this health and nutrition thing needs. So you're, it, you, you basically say it would be a great platform for you to advocate health, yeah, advocate, yeah, health. Uh, consciousness. consciousness definitely. Awesome, that's wonderful. And uh, Mike? Yes. Yeah, I think um, people uh, think about pageants that it's, uh, it's, it's exactly what you said about the looks. But uh, for me, it's like um, people dream about things. And uh, some people dream about being a model. Some people being uh, dreaming about being a professional soccer player or all those kind of things. Uh, for me, it's like... Uh, when I was a little kid uh, and I grew up like an age of 14, 15, I was dreaming like to be a model. And um, I'm not gonna say that it's my dream right now, but uh, I always believe that uh, my dreams came true if I work hard for it. And that's why I, I'm gonna say that I'm a dream chaser, but, um, and that's always what I, got, what I wanna show to all the others, that uh, no matter what, no matter which place you came from or which culture or which religion or, or skin color you have, uh, believe in your own things and believe in your faith and your uh, culture and religion and uh, to keep chasing your dreams. Right. Be, be authentic to yourself and never stop dreaming. Thank That's you true. all for being here with us mm -hmm. on our set, sharing your, your thoughts with our viewers. Good luck to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And you guys, for more information on the Mr. Organization, be sure to visit mister.org. Stay tuned because Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next. Don't go anywhere.